Hi, welcome to this tutorial on vectors. What do we mean by a vector quantity? Well, to answer that, let's just suppose we take a person here who can jog around at, say, 5 meters per second. They can jog around in any direction that they like. What I'm giving you is a quantity that involves magnitude or size alone. That magnitude is the 5 meters per second, often referred to as speed. But suppose our jogger here was to jog at 5 meters per second in a particular direction, say to the east. Then I'm giving you a quantity that involves both magnitude, the 5 meters per second, and direction to the east. And if our jogger was to move at 5 meters per second to the left in a westerly direction, again I'm giving you a quantity that involves both magnitude and direction. Now quantities that involve both magnitude and direction are often referred to as vector quantities. So a vector quantity has both magnitude and direction. But if we just refer to the speed alone, 5 meters per second, where this jogger could jog in any direction, then we have what is called a scalar quantity, which is a quantity that is just concerned with magnitude, no direction. Now when you have vector quantities, what we can do is represent them by directed line segments. So if our jogger was to move at 5 meters per second to the right, all I need to do is just draw a line that is in proportion, its length is in proportion to the magnitude here of 5 meters per second, and put an arrow on it signifying the direction. And this arrow can be either in the middle or at the end, it doesn't matter. If our jogger was to jog in a northerly direction, say at 2.5 meters per second, then I would need to draw an arrow pointing in the northerly direction and its length would be representative of the 2.5 meters per second. So in this case this length would be half the length of the 5 meters per second. Now vectors can be used in many areas of mathematics such as mechanics, as force, acceleration, momentum or as in this example velocity where I gave you both speed and direction. You'll also meet vectors in vector geometry where we talk about displacement vectors. So as you can see vectors is a very important topic and I hope that that gives you some idea about what we mean by a vector quantity and you'll look at my other tutorials where we look at the applications of them.